What's up guys, welcome back to Vex Gaming TV and today we are going to be starting a new series. It's going to be an electrical system in Rust uh, contraptions. Every single episode is going to be different contraptions. Things that you haven't seen before, hopefully. Uh, I'm not really doing research to see what was done, but I'm doing my own take on these things. And this episode, we are going to be going over a random number gener generator, not just one or two outputs. This is going to allow for more than two outputs up to pretty much any number you want indefinitely, as long as you have the enough power to power up the system. Um, let me just get rid of uh, this. Ah, there we go. Um, once again, I am on a open server, so I want to give them any, you know, props to let me use the server. It's uh, Lucid Gaming Sandbox today. Um, so today we are going to be making the, like I said, the random number generator. It's going to be pretty much this system right here. I'm going to press the button and it's going to give me an output on one, two, or three randomly. Um, it wants to be one a bunch of times for some reason. There's two and three. Always going to be a different number. There's three again. Um, pretty much this would allow for people who want to run casinos or maybe a community center within a server. Um, it would allow for the server to have maybe a, a uh, gambling section or a game section. Uh, this is more role play. In the future, I will do more like raid defense stuff as well. So there's going to be all different kind of electrical contraptions that we're going to go over. And I'm going to go into detail with each part to explain why, what they do and how they work so that you guys have a better understanding for rust electricity. So let's jump right into it. All right, guys. So we are back. And let's say that you are somebody who wants to gamble. This is where you would do it. And... Electricity is not set up yet, but we are going to run into it step by step and explain what we're doing. First thing we want to do is add a switch. Uh, that's obviously the startup system. I am using uh, test generators. This is not something that you will have inside the game. This is going to have to be replaced with uh, wind turbines or uh, solar panels, but it makes it very easy for me to make videos using these things so I don't have to set up all that. Um, so if you need, you know, help with that, that's pretty bare bones, simple stuff. Uh, just look up any video. There's tons of them on how to um, power out of wind turbines and, and uh, solar panels. It's going to be pretty much the same thing, though. We're going to have two outputs of electricity uh, here. I'm using two just in case I don't have enough power. But one of them is probably more than enough for this system right here. So we're going to put it into a root combiner and the root combiner is going to output the combination of both of those outputs, one output, give us more power to work with. I'm going to take it right over to our switch. Um, our switch is going to power the whole system pretty much. But, but before we go forward, I want to set up the modules that I was talking about that can be expanded indefinitely to allow for more numbers. So we're going to put a splitter here. I'm going to put a RAN switch an electrical branch right above it and a blocker I'm going to do that again that that four pieces of electric like electrical compartments right there is going to be the mod modules that i was talking about that can be expanded indefinitely and i'm going to go over each piece and what they do and how it works so from here we are going to take the output from the switch and we are going to put it right into the splitter. Now the splitter is going to take the output right there, 199, and split it three ways, 198. It's 198 because as it goes through the splitter, it takes one piece of power. And also here, as it goes through the um, switch, it takes one piece of power. So 200 in, 199 out, 199 in, 198 out. Um, every piece of electrical equipment is going to take at least one Sometimes even more, depending on what it is, like a turret, it's going to take up more power. All right, so from here, let's turn this off. We are going to take one of the outputs from the splitter, run it right into a RAND switch. We're going to take the second output and run it right into the set section of this switch. And what that does, and what the RAND switch does in general, is um, it's going to choose true or false when the set section of the RAN switch is powered, which means that this output will either come out or it won't come out. 
it's one or two, which you can already tell how you can use that to allow for uh, two outputs, but we wanna have three or more. So to get three or more, we're gonna have to do some circuitry. Now, the third output right here, we're gonna take down and this is gonna go into our blocker. Now what the blocker does is when this block pass through is powered, power coming into the blocker will not come out. If this is not powered, then the power will come out of the blocker. So let's take the power out of the RAND switch, bring it into the branch. Now what the branch does is it separates the signal into two sections, but you can configure uh, how much power comes out of one section, the rest will come out the other section. So one of the power out sections, you're going to put right into the block pass through. And let me explain this circuit real quick and show you an example of how it works. You turn on the switch. Uh, power did come into the RAN switch two times, one into the set and one into the power in, and it decided that it will uh, pass through. So since it did pass through, it goes into this. See how it says 64 power uh, out? That means that we only need one for this to go to the uh, pass through, the block pass through. So we're going to configure this to 63 so that we have as much power as possible going on to the rest of our modules. The so one power is going to be coming out of this um, branch and powering our block pass through, which is not allowing this power to pass through. Now, if I was to turn this off and then turn it back on, it looks like this time it decided to block um, to be false and not let the power come through which is now not powering the block pass through, which is allowing that raw power to pass through the blocker. And you can already see how I have two outputs, um, pretty much exactly what this does, but now it's it's two up here, uh, which is pretty much giving the same, the same thing, but allowing me to pass on one of those powers to a module, a separate module to allow for more outcomes and I'm gonna explain how that works now. So the power is coming through here now and no power is coming through here, but we're going to take the other power from the branch, going to bring that down to the splitter and we're going to just rinse and repeat. We're gonna do the same exact thing that we did before. Bring it up to the RAND switch, second one over to the set. I'm gonna take it over to the set. And then we are going to take the power out into the branch. We are going to take the last part of the splitter and bring it up to the blocker. Take the branch, bring it over, block pass through. And now that's pretty much it. That's all we need to do. And what's cool about this design is we could take this module and put a third one or a fourth one or a fifth one to allow for more possibilities over three. So this turns this little RAN switch into a pretty much an endless random number generator as long as you have enough power to do it now let me explain how this works real um you probably already see it but when i turn this power on it looks like it was blocked here it means that nothing is going to here which means this module is not working anymore because no power is going there but the power is getting through here so this is one of our outputs right here to one of the three lights turn this off let's do it again perfect um it decided that's going to be uh, decided that was going to be true and it is powering through here it means this output is no longer going to work because it's it's being blocked by the block pass through now the splitter well not the splitter the um electrical branch is splitting so it's going to come this way into the splitter which is now put it into the next section of the module you're going to do the same exact thing over here this ran switch decided that it was going to block it unlike over here which allows that raw power to run into the blocker, which isn't being blocked because we're not getting any power, which is our second output. And our third output is here. If this was true, it would come out of here and this would be blocked, which means that that's our three outputs. One, two, and three. Now, if you wanted a fourth one, you would just, like I said, copy this module, bring it over and do it again. And it would be a fourth a fourth um, way because you'll have one, two, you would have the blocker on the third one, and then the branch off the top of that one for four. 
So yeah, as long as you have enough power, you can have infinite amount of random num number generators. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this off and connect all of our pieces of elect electrical pieces to those lights, all of our outputs. So we're going to bring this one over. Ooh, nope, nope, ugly. Sorry. I don't like ugly wiring. <laughs> right under there. Perfect. Going to be our first output. And going to be our second output. There. Cool. Perfect. And then our third output here. Now, one thing to keep in mind that if you're building this in an actual server, you're not going to want to have it so spread apart like this. This is just so that visually you can see all the wiring and everything. This is going to be a lot more compact. Um, so in like a little room or something like that, you can push all this together and make it a lot more compact system. So now everything should be hooked up and ready to go. If I power this, I'm going to go through this one more time. One is the winner. Why is one the winner? Because power is coming through here. It's blocked here. It's coming up here. This isn't getting any, um, this is, this is, uh, not being blocked, which allows it to come out here, which is wired to one. Try this one more time. Oh, it's one again. Something different. There we go. Two. Passed through. Came down here. It got blocked here. Uh, which that it's not blocking the pass through on this blocker, which allows that one to go through, which is wired to two. And obviously, if this was not false and it was true, then it would be coming out of here and this would be blocked. That would be our third. So yeah, that's pretty much it this as much as you want there we go there's three perfect you get to see it so it's blocked here but it is coming out of here um also another thing to keep in mind you know how i set this to 64 i mean to 63 earlier to have the one input i mean the one output come out of here um and have 63 move over we're gonna do the same thing over here just in case in the future you want to add more random numbers there's 18 coming out the top we're gonna configure this to 17 and set that which will allow for only one this way and 17 out that way for extra modules now that's pretty much it um sorry if i went too quick i really didn't want this video to be really long um if you do enjoy this kind of electrical stuff in rust keep in mind that future videos i'm gonna have some really cool raid defense stuff that people have not seen before for compounds and plans and things like that um there's gonna be all different kind of electrical contraptions that's going to be on this channel uh so this is only the first episode if you have any ideas that you would like to see if it's possible you can always throw it in the comments and i will work on it and see if i can get something up and working for you guys um if you do enjoy this though remember to like comment and subscribe so you get all the uh, content when it is uploaded before everybody else uh you can be first people to throw that into your server and show it off to everybody um thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time